My name is uh, William Hernandez, uh, also known by Crimzo. On the Dallas Field, I'm a support player. So basically my job is to keep everybody alive during the games and make sure that we are all like healthy and able to fight. The U.S. Puma though does get slapped and taken down. Great sleep from Crimzo. Puma can't get away. I'm from Toronto, Canada. I was born and raised. I was a pretty energetic kid. I played like all the sports uh, leagues in my schools. Yeah, just mostly just sports, sports and video games to be honest. So I have an older brother and he obviously introduced me into video games and stuff like that. So I play with him all the time. I grew up kind of off Call of Duty games. And eventually when I got my, my first computer, I started venturing more into like the, the style of Call of Duty, but on, on a computer. And I eventually, you know, fell in love with like FPS games and stuff like that. So. I mean, video games have been part of my whole life, basically, and I just genuinely enjoy it so much. For games specifically, I really enjoy like fast-paced. Like, I cannot play like a game that's really slow and methodical. I like thinking quickly, thinking fast, and like, being able to adapt really fast and just like natural, you know, quick movements all around. It's just really enjoyable for me. I think it was a mix of like League of Legends, Counter Strike, kind of like H1Z1, old school. Going into Overwatch, I at the beginning I was a little nervous. It was, it was the first kind of game like that that I've ever played. But originally I played like a, a damage role, so I, my job was basically to kill everybody. But uh, eventually I moved more to like the support role. But my playstyle has always been really aggressive. Like I really like to get into people's faces and make them really upset with me. It's just something I love doing. Overwatch is also very fast paced in terms of like different roles and different ability like ways to play the game and it's just it's just the perfect game for me and I honestly couldn't I couldn't I don't think I could do what I do in any other game but Overwatch it's just perfect I played Overwatch for a long time and I've always been pretty highly rated like in the game but honestly I've never thought that I could like do anything with the game I always just played as a hobby and for fun and I honestly never thought I was like good enough to like be like professional I've seen like people play professionally in other games and stuff like that but I never thought I would be good enough to actually do it myself. But then slowly over time, after just like naturally playing the game and getting better over and over, I, people just like were always leaving comments and telling me like how good I was and I should like pursue it. And my biggest regret is to not, is not going into it sooner and like doubting myself. So game came out in 2016. I joined a couple teams, just kind of like playing with friends and stuff like that. But February, 2018, somewhere around there, I was in school when I got the offer to play for my first like team. It was a contenders team, which, which that team eventually actually became the academy team for the Dallas Fuel. The semester just finished and I got the offer. So I was like, all right, I'm out. And I just wanted to go play Overwatch. <laughs> a lot of the players from the, my first team like transitioned to that team. It was kind of like a, a transition from one team to another. And so like, it was kind of like, I was kind of on the same team. It was just under a way bigger brand, obviously with Envy and Fuel and stuff like that. So it was kind of like a seamless transition. Parents are like, they're, they immigrated from Cuba to Toronto in Canada. And they don't really know anything about technology, to be honest. So they had no idea what I was doing. At first, they were, they were skeptical. I remember the first time I played at a LAN tournament was in Poland. So imagine like, an 18 year old kid being like, hey dad, hey mom and dad, I'm going to Poland to play in this tournament. They were so confused and they were like, what? They were just so surprised. They didn't, they didn't expect this at all and they didn't know anything about it. So they were just really worried, but I re helped reassure them and, and I did everything I could to help them understand what it was. And I think they're pretty supportive and they like cheer me on through like text messages after games and stuff like that. So I think they're really supportive and they're, they're proud of that I'm doing what I love to do. So Envy had won the original contender season back in 2018. But we, the season that we played under Envy was in the next year, 2019. It was the first season Envy was, you know, back in contenders, and there was a lot of pressure, like, to, for us to perform and be able to like hold ourselves to that higher regard and like fill in those big shoes. When I went in, uh, it was kind of, it was kind of easy for me because, like, I eventually, my original like thought process was that I wasn't good enough, but then it became I'm better than everybody else. I'm gonna beat everybody else and I'm gonna hold myself to that high standard. We ended up winning back-to-back -back seasons and like we were just, like it was, the pressure was there but we performed and we did better than everyone else. Uh, joining a new team is always interesting. At the beginning, I'm way more of a quiet person. Like I like to understand my surroundings before I know what I want to do basically. I mean, specifically joining Dallas Field, it's my first kind of like international team. I mean, I kind of was like 
brought in when like everything was already happening. So I was just kind of like came in, looked around, didn't really say much. And I was like kind of understanding my surroundings. The transition is fun. It's been fun and I enjoy where I'm at now. And I think this group of guys is amazing and I can't wait to keep playing games with them. You know, when there's a new player coming into like a basically established roster, everybody's like, you know, who is this guy? Can he perform and stuff like that? So there was a little bit of pressure to perform at the beginning and like prove to everyone else around me that you know, I'm good enough to be here and I'll be a good teammate. I believe that was like the hardest part, but I think I was able to, you know, ease their fears really quickly. You can go on, come down. I am ready to show everybody who I am. <laughs> I'm tired of hiding. I feel like I've been hiding in contenders for two years. So I played Otrell a year ago before I, I joined the Dallas field, which he was on. He joined like, like a half or a year before me. He was always like a really good teammate of mine and I really enjoyed like coming up and being able to reunite with him again. Like I remember when I first knew about joining the Dallas field, I was immediately going to like tell him like, we're back together, it's happening again. Me and him always like kind of, you know, go back and forth with each other. Uh, uh, in the like atmosphere, we were very like close with each other and we would like like poke fun at each other a lot. I'm six foot three. He's probably like four foot nine or something like that. I kind of just make fun of him for being bald. And He's like a little tiny child, just bones, there's no meat on it. His, ha his hairline's gone a bit back. It's, it's a bit rough back there, so. I'll just make fun of him for whatever I can. Yeah, I just gotta, you know, get my son for the day. So we live in Uptown Dallas and it's really, really nice and modern and it's a really good area and everything that we need is around us, you know, stores, grocery stores and stuff like that. So it's really, it's really nice being here and uh, the office is also really cool. It's like a five minute walk from our apartment building. It's really like really high tech and cool and it's, everybody is like everybody working together in like one office. It's really nice. I miss it a lot. Being able to like come in and like get my snacks from the snack area and stuff like that. I miss that part, but I'm mean, overall, you know, what can you really do with you know pandemic going around? Just here in my apartment, bottle of crimson should be two blocks today, about four hours long, should be a good day. I knew how good I am at this game. And I want to hold myself to a high level to make sure like I'm always playing as well as I can and being a, a, as good of a teammate as I can. And eventually, like, I just follow that and I still follow that to this day. And I just believe that I'm, I have to hold myself to a really high standard, especially in a game like Overwatch, because it's so team oriented. And I can't let myself like slide and I can't let myself like slack in any way. I mean, video games have been part of my whole life basically and I just genuinely enjoy it so much.